Hi, fifth graders. So we are now on to module 10, lesson two. We're going to be representing and finding the size of equal parts. So this is going to be taking um, basically a, a fraction and we're dividing it by a whole number. So I'm gonna show you how that's going to work. So you'll be able to divide a unit fraction by a whole number using a visual fraction model. So a recreation center has a batting cage with a machine that pitches balls to the batter. Five friends sign up for a half hour of time in the batting cage. If they share the half hour equally, how much of a whole hour will each friend get in the batting cage? So, we have, sorry, five friends. My thing is really crooked today. There we go. We have five friends and they are signing up for half an hour of time. Okay, so we know that here's our whole, right? This would be a whole hour. So this is the time that they signed up for. They signed up for a half an hour of time. So I'm gonna shade that in. Now each one of the friends is going to share this half hour of time and there are five of them. So I'm going to draw a second one, and this time I'm going to take my half, and I need to divide this into five pieces because the half is going to be divided by five friends. Okay? It's still a half, right? But it's divided by the five friends. So if this side is divided into five, then this, the half that we didn't use, right, the half an hour that was not used needs to be divided into five, which means that each piece is one tenth. And I'm going to show you why this works. Because we have one half divided by five kids. Okay? Now, in order for this to work, we have to do, we have to reverse this whole number. So the way to make this work is we're going to do, we're going to take our one fifth, our five, and we're going to make it one fifth. So we're going to be multiplying one half times one fifth, and that's going to equal one tenth. Okay? So when we divide, we do the we take our whole number and we reverse it from five over one to one over five. Then we can multiply it by one half and we will get one tenth. So each friend will get one tenth of an hour in the batting cage. They're going to get one-fifth of a half an hour, but the question was, how much of a whole hour will they get, right? So they're going to get one-tenth of a whole hour. So you need to divide the one-half equally among the friends, and then it helps to, and then it will help you to figure out, well, what is the whole thing divided into? And then you have your one-tenth. So let's, once you practice a few of these, it won't seem so difficult. It's just, it takes a little bit of time to practice, once you practice. The distance around the track at the recreation center is one fourth mile. Medea, Will, and Holly plan to divide the distance evenly to practice sprints. What distance does each person run? So we have how many people? Three people. And they're dividing the one fourth of a mile by three. Okay, so here's our whole mile, right? And it's divided into fourths. Okay, how much are they, they're going to share this one-fourth evenly? So if they're going to share the one-fourth evenly, how many people are there? There are three people.
So each person is only going to do one part of this. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? So each person will do 1 twelfth of a mile. And to show this with the math piece of it, we would be saying it is 1 fourth divided by 3. And in order to do 1 fourth divided by 3, we're going to do 1 fourth times 1 third. Remember, we take our 3 over 1 and inverse it. And that would be 1 twelfth. See how that works? You can see that from the picture, and then you can see it when you do the math. Okay? So we're going to not worry about all of that down there. It's better just to see the picture and do the math right with the picture so you can see it all together. So each person runs 1 12th of a mile. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Oops. One third of the recreation center pool is reserved for lap swimming. If this part of the pool is divided equally for two swimmers, what fraction of the pool will each swimmer have? So what would be our division problem for this one? We have a one third of the pool that's sectioned off for them. It's reserved and two swimmers are going to get to share it. So this would be one third divided by two. So how could we show this? Well, we've got our one third, right? Which is right here. And our one third is going to be broken up into two pieces. So how much is each person getting? Well, if I shade that one piece in, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it would be one sixth. So each person will get one sixth of the pool. And again, the reason why this works is because we would do one third times one over two equals one sixth, right? We take the reverse. We would, instead of 2 over 1, it's 1 over 2, and see how that works to give us our answer. Okay, let's do some checking for understanding. One fourth of a cheese wheel is divided equally among five people at a picnic. How much of a whole wheel of cheese will each person get? So one fourth of the cheese wheel is divided by five people. So this division problem would be 1 fourth divided by 5. So if I have my whole cheese and I need fourths, right, 1 fourth. So this is how much is divided between the five people. And there are five people at the picnic. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, no, I'll go this way. 1. Should have made this thicker. Two, three, I'm going to have to squeeze that in. And I'll do it up here, four, five. So that would be one, so they're going to get one part of it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it's one twentieth of a cheese wheel. And we can do this with the math part. One fourth times one fifth equals one twentieth. All right, one sixth divided by two. So we have our whole 
we need sixths. So we're going to be taking our one sixth, divide it in half, right? Divide it into two pieces. So the whole thing gets divided in half. So we have one, so then one piece is shaded in. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One twelfth. One six times one half equals one twelfth. Remember, I take the inverse of the 2, the whole number 2, switch it to half, because that's what you're doing is you're splitting that into halves. You're taking your 1 6 and splitting it in half. 1 half divided by 3. So this time, I have 1 half. And that's divided by 3. And I only want one of them. So one half div oops, times one third equals one sixth. One third divided by four. So here's my thirds. And I want it divided by 4. And only one of these, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it would be 1 twelfth. 1 third times 1 fourth equals 1 twelfth. Okay? All right, on your own, you can do this again. You can pause your, the video, do this independently, or stay right with me. Okay, a cement truck carries one-fifth ton of concrete. The truck will pour an equal amount of concrete for each of two houses. Draw a visual model to represent the problem. So our problem is we have two houses. Or no, five, five, we need five. Sorry about that, we need fifths. And we've got one fifth. The one fifth is divided in half because of the two houses. So the division equation would be one fifth divided by 2, and that equals, we only want one of these, right? One tenth. You don't need to explain what that means. Okay? So one fifth times one half equals one All right, use a visual model to find the quotient, or we could just divide, right? So if I take this one third times one half equals one sixth. This one would be one sixteenth, right? You take your one eighth times your one half. One fifth times your one fourth. One twentieth. One fourth times one fourth, one sixteenth. One six times one third, one eighteenth. One tenth times one half, one twentieth. And we're going to skip the twelfth. So basically, just take that whole number, make it reverse it, do the inverse, and then you're able to solve that problem. So go ahead and complete ten, excuse me, point two, one through 16. All right, have a fabulous rest of your week, and I will see you soon. Bye.